I thought we were going to be able to, to do this, but it seems we need to sell some things. So let's do that. <sighs> oh, goodness. Travel safely. I think you can have it done by midweek. Oh, it was the candle stub. I don't know why a candle stub looks like a book, but okay. That was sure. Quartermaster Threat understands that your work can't be rushed, Master Threat. Fine. Midweek. Tell Threat. Greeting. Nothing new to say? Okay. Another time, then. Good luck sealing those rifts. Is that just gonna ping on us every single time? Walk safely, Harold of Andraste. Tell Mother day, or good as it could be with a sky ripped apart. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table. I forgot that I still need to go through all of these rings and everything. There we go. All right. Back into town. I think Varric still has some dialogue for us. Something, Varric. 
You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. Funny story. I bought a salvage ship and found her locked in a dragon bone reinforced chest in the hold. I broke three dozen lockpicks and blunted nine saws opening that trunk, but it was worth it. Who was she named for? I can't tell you. And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. You from Ferelden? Or Lay? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Nice. I like Varric. Iliard Rig says hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Stretch time. All right. We will do a stretch time. How we doing, Iliara? How's things? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Hmm. It's always good to take a little bit of extra time, a little bit of extra care. I can feel a little bit of that tension in my forearms. Whew. Leapy. Who said I'm allowed to be sleepy? No sleepy here. Oh, goodness. All right. Do some stretches to open up my collarbones, of all things. Can't be hunched over in the chair. Ah, alrighty. I'm feeling better. Very nice. Alright, what's next? I don't think anybody's gonna have anything else. To I will say, keep the really? peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Valroyo. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Yeah, not much else going on. So, we want to go back to the map. We want to go to the Hinterlands. Do, 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 do. I would rather not go back to that camp. Ooh, finding the shards might be a good idea, actually. So let's go to that campground. Of course, we will pick up Varric, Cassandra, and Solas, because they are the only ones that we have. And head back out to the Hinterlands. I don't want to open up too many territories all at once. Nothing to report, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. We don't spawn into this location very much, do we?
I forgot there was even a merchant on this map. Thanks for that, brain. Do do do. Do 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 do. I have no idea where we were. We left equipment in an area on this map. Was it way over here? Is this, is that where we were? Yes, we were over there. So let's go back to the forest camp. Even though we just spawned in at the other side of the map. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go back over here. Um. I saw a little red blip over there. Nope. Not this way. Not this way! Alright, we've been over there before. How the heck are we supposed to get back? I don't even remember where it is. Now we're in a new zone. Did I need to go back around the other way? Who's on our tail now? Hello? If it's another bear, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, come on. A bear and an assassin. Can we can we not? Please. I just I don't want to. I don't have the energy. I don't have the desire. I don't need the bear leather. None of these things. Can we just not? Can we can we even not and say we did? Is that a thing we can do? I didn't need that fennec either, but here we are. Here we go.
A distance marker on the mini-map would be kind of nice sometimes. Like now. No. These heckin' bears. Always. I don't want to fight the bears. Stab. Not sure why that one's just stuck in place, but I'm not going to question it. shouting at us now. Hello? I don't remember how to get over there. Um, maybe there? Maybe, maybe there. We're gonna take this path that direction. Let's see if we can find another path to take us up the hill. It just bamfed somewhere and I don't know where it went. One down. 
Good. Excellent. Then I don't need to worry about it. This looked like a valley on the map. Yes, a way through this flippin' ridge again. I have become fixated. Alrighty. Maybe it is time to give up. Because I can't figure out how to get over there. So, we are now going to go searching for the fortress again. Which means I'm going to hop on my horse again so that I can hopefully outrun some of the ridiculous assailants that seem to be in this area. So. Yeah, yeah. We have a fortress to find here in this area. Oh, that's helpful. Are we good? Taking notes on all this, Varric. So you'll need to be more specific there, Seeker. <laughs> the Inquisition. You're not planning to write a book about us, are you? Oh, don't get your hopes up. You're not that interesting a subject. Stretch break. All right. Maybe we can do a little bit of a stretch break here. I also hear... Anocularis? 
Nice. No, we did that already. There's a little exclamation point right here, but I can't. Oh, it must be up in the tower above us. Okay. Grand Forest Villa. That the lush and beautiful Grand Forest Villa is so far from Redcliffe Castle seems odd, only until one learns the history behind its construction. More than an age before the Arlesian occupation of Ferelden, Arl Jason Guerin ordered its construction to serve as a comfortable living quarters for his close friend, famed singer and swordsman Sir uh, Coram the Bard, Arlesia Marquette, Jason's wife, evidently understood and supported her husband's relationship with Karam, only stipulating that the bard not live at the castle to avoid any public scandal. Arl Jason's Ride was a popular tavern song for many years, jokingly honoring the Arl's attempts to return from the villa before the sun rose. Sir Coram uh, lived happily there until his death in bed at the age of 90, several years after the death of Arl Jason himself. The aged Arlesia Marquette, ordered Coram's body burned uh, with full honors in a hunting cloak that belonged to the Arl. After Sir Coram's death, the villa was used by the Arl's family for guests and as a summer home for the younger family members. It was abandoned during the chaos of the Fifth Blight. Alrighty, with that, I definitely saw some, some red folks over there. So, we are going to keep that paused for right now. Alrighty. So, let's do a little bit more here with Dragon Age before we run away. Off to bed, feeling a bit meh. Have fun. Eliar Drake, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you enjoy as much of the rest of your day. I hope you get some good rest. It's always lovely to have you stop in and hang out with us. So, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything I can do? Whoa! Headley! Uh, hello, my friend. Welcome in. Welcome in. Smokey Raid. Smoke Roo, hello. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day today. My name is Cherny, for anyone who is not familiar. Give me just a moment to stop being in the middle of a battle. Oh my goodness. Hello, how it do? It do pretty well. Today is a trip to Mountain Shade Library. So we are enjoying some absolutely ridiculous times here playing Dragon Age. I hope y'all are having a lovely day. How are we? How's things? How we doing? How's the day? Welcome in Raiders. It is lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming in today. How we doing? And I think you guys, you guys know me, right? You've made it back to Mountain Shade Village. My name is Cherny. I am a variety streamer. And right now, as one of our story-based games, we are playing some Dragon Age Inquisition. Good, how about you? I am starting to feel, feel the tired. I am feeling the tired just a little bit. Um, but we are, we are about to wrap up here pretty soon. Um... And we are going to do our raid here before too much longer. But we are just finishing up this last little segment here on Dragon Age Inquisition. This is my first playthrough for this game. I have I I am a disgrace to all fantasy game players ever. I somehow have failed to play this game before now. 
Um, who are you romancing? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Because I don't know the, the dialogue tiers well enough to be able to know, like, what my choices are going to be one way or the other. So, I don't know. I don't know who we're romancing yet. We haven't even added anybody to the party yet, except for our starting folks. So we still only have, um... Cassandra, Varric, and Solas as our options for party members. So, I haven't a clue. Um, I have seen some things about Dragon Age. Fair enough, if it makes you feel better. I also haven't played it. Like, I don't feel bad about having not played the game. Uh, it does seem like an oversight to some extent, though, because I am a huge fan of fantasy games. And so, you know, the fact that I completely failed to play Dragon Age up until this point, this is going to be a problem. There we go. Nice. Um, it feels it feels like I uh, I should have played by now, you know. Like, how did I how did I not do this yet? Ooh, big smashy boy! Hello, smashy boy! I just never have a console to play it on. I'm playing it on PC myself. So I'm playing it from my computer. On Steam. So that's me. But I know that a bunch of folks uh, play it from console. Um, one of my friends, though, I know, did buy... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. How can I get back up there now? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, really? Interesting? Yes. Very interesting. But yeah, if this was console only, I don't own any functional consoles right now, so. Valmar Key. Letter from the Carta. We hired your mercenary organization to facilitate this business venture, not add complications. In order for the Carta to extract the product without extract attracting undue attention, the area must be free from observation. If the fighting between the apostate mages and the renegade Templars is insufficient, your efforts were to dissuade refugees from exploring the area and interfering with our operation. We are meeting at our primary base of operations in Velomar to determine the next course of action. At your earliest convenience, send representatives to the location marked to explain the situation and obtain new obstructions. An unsigned letter found in a remote mountain villa. Alright, so we need to find the Carta leader. I also want to make sure that we fully explore this very nice villa. This was a summer home for somebody, like... The number of people who could live in this building, building honestly... It's just so nice. Do, do, do. 
I hear a shard. There it is. Perfect. Alrighty, so let me just fall off this tower. Perfect. Good grief. Alright, we're gonna go over here on the bridge so that we're somewhere like recognizable. We're gonna save. I'm low health, so really we should probably go back to our campsite, but I don't want to leave this area because we've got a whole bunch of stuff to find over here. So, even though I am sitting at low health, we are going to call this a day today. Yeah.